All right, let's try this again. I think we got it this time. So had a few technical difficulties with uh, this laptop I'm using, which happens almost every time I use it. Anyway, we're going to be taking a look at some uh, a new achievement by Base Network. We're going to look at Bitcoin here. We're going to look at some altcoin updates and just do some quick airdrop uh, kind of recap because there's a lot coming, especially if you are in Cosmos. So let's hop right into this. And if you guys enjoy the content here, you enjoy the videos, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you want more. Appreciate that. It helps the channel out quite a bit. So let's get into it and let's get through the stuff so we can get to the fun stuff. Uh, here we've got... Uh, we're gonna look at some ETF news real quick and then a couple of Bitcoin stores and go from there. So we've got just one sec here. Sorry to turn some audio down on the side there. We've got uh, grayscale here in the red coming down. This is total Bitcoin held, and we've got uh, BlackRock in the green coming up. So grayscale started out high. They were uh, uh, before they were an ETF, they had a bunch, they were they were kind of a quasi ETF. They had a bunch of Bitcoin held that people bought at a premium, and now those Holders have been able to sell for quite a bit of money. They're in the profit uh, by quite a big margin, and they are just selling, 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 and that's perfectly fine. It's what they should do. BlackRock started, and all the ETFs started much lower, and they are now catching up. So we'll see if these actually cross or what's going to happen there. I imagine they might cross, but Grayscale might have, I don't know, the rest of their holders might not be in that much profit and want to hold for longer. So we'll see how that plays out. Overall, for the ETFs last week, um, I was thinking today, today's Good Friday, by the way. So I, uh, markets are closed. I thought they were open yesterday. I completely forgot about today. So um, good morning there, by the way, uh, or good evening, whatever it is now. So week 12, uh, pretty good. It almost wiped out week 13, uh, just a thousand short. So we're, we're not doing too bad there. It was, a, it was a decent week in the ETFs. Not our best by any means, but not our worst either. So looking good over there. So here we have uh, just kind of a visualize for you guys here. And this comes from Cointelegraph, but I think Hold of 15 might have made this. Um, you can see all the B, uh, BTC that's been bought by these ETFs. So over 500,000 have been bought. Um, and then of course we've got Grayscale who's dumping a ton. But uh, look at that. That is that is a lot of uh, supply coming out of the market, right? And showing that there's a lot of demand too. And that means the price is probably going to be rising, which it did. So maybe just some case of supply and man there that shot a price up recently who knows um let's see here so I, I read this this morning um the balances on bitcoin balances on the exchanges is dropping it's uh, down 10 billion in 2024 now that's kind of a weird um i don't know why they use us dollars here instead of bitcoin maybe it's more dramatic to say 10 billion uh, i'm sure it is in fact uh, but as Bitcoin's price increases, this number increases too. So none could leave and that, that number could increase. That's kind of why I have some qualms with that. But anyway, that, that's still, regardless, that's a lot of Bitcoin that's left the, the exchanges. So supply's going down. Um, of course, that doesn't zoom in very much. But this is uh, orange here is supply on exchanges and black is the price of Bitcoin. And you guys can see the supply's going down, which is indicating demand going up really, right? And then you just see the price also, I guess, a, a factor of demand going up just as it does kind of an inverse relationship right there right so uh, not surprised to anybody but still want to share it this one was kind of fun uh, kind of ridiculous too but i figured i'd bring it up uh both the, both these are from coin telegraph too. bitcoin's 2023 to 2024 growth rate has it on track to surpass microsoft within a year um probably not going to happen i don't think we're going to see that crazy of bitcoin this year um and then yeah, after Microsoft, all that's left is gold. We're not soon, but not yet. Uh, Bitcoin would need a price point of over $800,000 to do that. And let's see if I can zoom in here for you guys a little bit. Didn't zoom in that much, but Microsoft's sitting at 3.16 trillion. That's that's quite a bit higher than what we're at now. Um, now we'll see if we get there. Uh, now I'm not sure. Um, to me, the, the math doesn't add up there, but I'm, I'm doing this in a hurry. Maybe they're talking about gold there for 8,000. Yeah, they were talking about gold for 800,000. Uh, I thought Microsoft was a little bit lower than it is here. Um, I've read this article twice and I just now kind of realized that kind of a long day, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be gold. We're not gonna get to 15 trillion. Could pass Microsoft. I see it. I just had an article this morning that said a trillion's coming in. Um, if that's coming in Bitcoin, it's probably coming into Microsoft too. So it'll be a challenge to get up there. Uh, we'll take it one step at a time. You know, once we pass Google, maybe we'll start talking. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, I could easily see it hitting two or three trillion this, this market cycle though, which is a, a quite a bit of money still. So uh, that's probably, probably $250,000 Bitcoin right there, right? So uh, let's check out some, these are just from into the cryptoverse. These are interesting. Green here is the uh, cycle we're in right now from peak four to peak five. This is measured from November peak, the later peak. Uh, one I showed the other day was measured from April. There's, there's some controversy on which peak to measure, right? So if we measure from the latter peak, we're, we're well ahead of schedule. Uh, if we measure from the first peak, we're right in this range right here, which puts us kind of normal to almost normal range, uh, at least for last cycle. Um, and this is that first peak right here, actually, uh, the April 2021 peak. So we're ahead of schedule, but that's just how good we're doing this this cycle. Um, I think a lot of that's the ETF buying. So maybe that tapers off a little bit when we go sideways, or maybe we just slowly trend up. And I, I hope we end up this way, but we could end up somewhere in between. Uh, in theory, we could end up below, but I, I think we've we've got some room to grow here. Uh, there's a lot going on in this cycle, but you never know. Um, regardless, I think we're going up and higher. And this is not price. This is just return on um, investment. So keep that in mind. Um, you could still have an incredibly high price being below the last cycle. And it would certainly be higher than the last cycle. We already are, right? So um, here we have the ETH Bitcoin evaluate or ETH Bitcoin valuation. Uh, orange here is the price of Bitcoin. In blue, we have the price of Ethereum. And you can see they're, they're mirroring each other pretty much, but they are starting to gap here a little bit. And ETH essentially gets bigger hits than um, Bitcoin does. So when that happens, you can see that the ETH Bitcoin valuation is dropping here. And for me, this is kind of indicative of what's going on in the altcoin market. Um, it is heated, but Bitcoin is just out, you know, surpassing it by, by a lot, outperforming it. And this really shows in Bitcoin dominance too. Uh, Bitcoin dominance has been rising lately. It's actually kind of hit a, a roof, but it's been, it's probably going to poke up a little bit more. Um, I think Ben Cowan's saying somewhere 56% or something is what he's looking at. Could go even higher. And then there's stable coin. There, there's a whole, I'm not going to get into dominance, but that is something to watch. But do 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 take note of this. Um, and, and remember, this is a this is two years right here. So ETH has gone up and down a little bit, but lately it's, it's really taken a hit right here. So just uh, another thing to watch if you're into altcoins. Now this one is interesting. Um, I'll go to the, the daily first here. So this is 24 hours. Each of these are five minutes right here. And look at all this yellow starting to form. Yellow is 11.68 in leverage trades that will get liquidated if Bitcoin's price either goes up or down. And dark blue is zero. So the darker the color, the less. The lighter the color, the more liquidations that'll occur. So I've been looking at this one for a while. Um, this is a little lower than I thought though, right? So this is now starting in the, where are we at? About 70.7, 70.8 range right there. Uh, so that's interesting. That actually is quite a bit lower than I thought. Um, and then look right here. This is the one I've been watching, right? Let's point this out yesterday, I think, and maybe this morning too. Um, we got a big band of yellow right here, and this is a three-day chart. Um, really, really obvious here that I think, uh, I'll show you how much, it's not much, it's like 4% probably for that. Um, I think Bitcoin might go up uh, and, and knock that out real quick. Doesn't mean it's gonna go higher, but it might. And then you can see it really prominently there on a, on a one-week chart, so. That stands out to me quite a bit. So let's look at that. And that's, um, let's see if this chart has it about the same, about 72. But on the three day, we had it at, what was it? Starting in the, yeah, 71.8. So I'll check that out real quick on a chart for you guys. We'll, we'll just hang with 72 for that. Um, before we get there, I'll show you. Oh, I'm getting all sorts of ads here. Um, this drop was just measured from over here, pulled it right here, 30% drop, kind of transposed it over here for, for a lot of reasons, but oops. Um, that's what we're looking at now. 60K is uh, our first level of support, I think, if we start going down. And we already wicked down that way right here. And then 60K, or excuse me, 50K, 51K actually, but I think 50K will be, might end up being the actual level just because it's a nice number to hold on to. People like round numbers. Um, probably a ton of sell um, buy orders right there at 49.9 or 50.1 K. So watch those. If we do start heading down, we'll see if we can hold them. If we can't look at the next one and then might, you might have some buying opportunities in here. 
I might anyway. I certainly do. Not might, I do. So let's look at those liquidation levels. I think, I think it was on my Coinbase, and we'll go to the hourly because it's just uh, we're looking short term here. So I got the short leverage ouch zone, as I call it. It's a very technical term, as you guys can see. Um, drew this yesterday. Uh, it's really at 72,000, maybe a tick below here, and it looks like that's starting to come a little bit lower right here. So 71.8, I think, is what I saw, or 78. Um, so there, there's probably some liquidations in this in, right here now, and you can see it's right above that little rise right there um, that we had a few hours ago, um, about eight hours ago, it looks like, 12 hours ago, maybe. Anyway, um, I think this is a real juicy target for Bitcoin right here, especially at 72,000. So we'll see if the whales can push it up here, and they should be able to. I mean, I was just doing it before I had technical difficulties. It's only, it's not even 3% to get there, so that's, that's nothing. Then you go up a little bit higher, knock them all out, 4.5%. That's nothing. They can get that. Um, you get a little buying momentum. People are going to jump right in and do the work for these whales. And everybody can see this. So the whales, the market makers, all the people that are involved with leverage trading that might benefit from knocking you out, they all have this data. So be careful when you guys leverage trade. Um, it, it, and it doesn't, there, there's some down here too that could take out, but this is the bigger one. It doesn't mean it's going to go up here. It's just, just a possibility. So watch out for it. Um, looking at coin market cap just on today, last 24 hours, Bitcoin's down three quarters of a percent. Ethereum's down 2%. That's where that BTC ETH or ETH BTC value valuation is going down, right? Where you see ETH going down more than Bitcoin is. Uh, it doesn't always go down. Sometimes it goes up, but typically when it's going down, look for alts to follow with it. So uh, not all alts will do it anymore. Um, and they didn't always do it anyway, but um, you'll get a few outliers, but typically it pulls all the alts with it. So let's look at some gainers here. Um, Whiff is up. Jupes up. Litecoin again. Man, Litecoin is... I need to look into Litecoin. I'm not sure what's going on with it, but it keeps pumping. Mantle. Um, Mantle's interesting. I think they're a layer two. Um, they are... They've been really hot lately. Maybe I'll pull them up here in a minute. We'll come back to this. I just want to look at it before we get into some other stories here. And then we'll, we'll kind of just browse. It's Friday night, right? I'm online. You guys are online. <laughs> not a whole lot going on. Um, Aptos is doing well, too. Lately, it seems like uh, Bitcoin Cash. That's that's crazy to me that a, a Bitcoin fork's doing well. Another Bitcoin fork. And I guess when Bitcoin pumps, they pump too. All right. Any, any big losers today? KuCoin. Eh. Yeah, KuCoin's had some trouble. Uh, they're defiant right now. <laughs> they're they're saying you stick with up with them. They're going to give you a KCS airdrop. Actually, see how that plays out. Uh, are we? Yeah, nothing too bad today. Pretty pretty average. Um, let's check out a couple more stories real quick. All right, so this one was interesting. Uh, what, a, what a picture again. This guy takes some of the silliest pictures I've seen. Um, anyway, a bunch of senators, basically Republican senators. I don't care how you guys voted. Not not uh, something I discuss in these videos, and I don't do whatever you want, right? Um, House Repu Republicans demand SEC explain what's up with crypto platform Promethium. Wow, I can't even say that one. Anyway, they basically sent him a letter, I think 47, 48 of them sent him a letter saying, you know, what's going on? Why is ETH a security? I think they must be involved in this platform or something, Prometheus, or Prometheum, excuse me. Uh, but Prometheum has, I guess, Ethereum, and uh, they're not happy about it, or maybe their buddies own this system. I don't know. Maybe we got another Sam Bakeman freed here that <laughs> instead of being friends with the Democrats, they're friends with Republicans. I don't know. Um, anyway. I, I like the fact that they're asking the SEC and Gary Gensler what why is ETH going to be a security and what's going on and uh, basically saying that it could threaten the crypto industry. So, uh, And they, they said as much in that uh, letter they wrote. You guys can read the whole thing here if you want at coindesk.com. I don't want to bore you with that one, but it, but it was interesting uh, to know that people in Congress are actually um, looking at what Gensler is doing in, a, in an unfavorable way. So BlackRock... Uh, mentioned this earlier. I actually put out a real world asset video today. Just covered a few of the, um, I think I did six of the major projects in tokenization, uh, like Ondo, uh, BlackRock themselves, uh, Parcel, Chainlink, uh, Goldfinch, etc. Um, Manta, or Mantra, whatever it is, the OM token. Anyway, uh, talked about this. They they they've built this buildle 
no pun intended, build a uh, fund here. And in the first week, I believe it was 245 million, yep, 245 million in deposits. So mostly um, Ondo put a big chunk of that, 95 million. And Ondo is actually what I'm about to tell you. It's um, basically US treasuries here, tokenized US treasuries. So Ondo is huge into that. They've got three different tokens right now that they're running and their own Ondo token. So fourth, if you look at it that way, but they've tokenized, uh, they've got three tokenized versions of uh, yields and money markets, or excuse me, treasuries and money markets. And they put a bunch here in BlackRock. So um, watch this. I think we're gonna see a big real world asset uh, boom coming up here in the next, it will really start now for the next, who knows how long, at least a couple years, maybe longer. I think that's gonna be a pretty big narrative. So Athena, speaking of financial stuff, right? Um, we've got Athena here, Athena Labs coming out with an airdrop. I was gonna talk about this later, but um, I wanna talk about their, this kind of ties in DeFi, so we're gonna bring it up now. Um, if you held USDE, which is a synthetic US dollar is what they're calling it, basically they're kind of stable coin, um, the Athena, USD Athena, uh, you can get crazy yields on this by lending it and whatnot. Um, 1.5 billion USDE now created. That's a pretty impressive amount. Uh, they had a shard program going on. Just We'll just talk about the airdrop real quick. If you had their shards and you got it from using or holding USDE, and I think you could do it from a couple other things, but if you had those shards, you are gonna get the ENA token dropped to you, which is the Athena Labs token, or the Athena token. Um, that's not out yet. There's some speculation. There's some betting going on on what it's gonna cost and how much, or how much it's gonna be worth. So uh, if you guys do have shards, be on the lookout for that. But anyway, that's pretty good DeFi news there. So um, we're talking about base kind of headline story, right? Um, look at this. Layer twos, base, all this is starting to heat up. This is crazy right here. Look at this ramp up. And of course you could pull this chart way out to the left, right? And shrink this and you know maybe make it look a little less dramatic, but this is still a pretty good rise here. Um, we're up to 30 billion almost in bridged assets. And I don't know if this counts like Ethereum or USDC, uh, especially if USDC is native on those. I'm not really certain if it's counting any of that or like TVL and that kind of thing. Um, that would probably be another statistics they would have, have to pull over. But this is pretty big for people moving stuff onto the L2s. So another one here. Let me shrink this up a little bit bigger. So this is going to be base. Now check this out. You've got um, your core developers here increasing, right? So all the people programming on base. Um, creating dApps. Uh, look at this, monthly active users just skyrocketing here. And this is March, so this is when Dankun came out. And look at that, look at that jump. Now I would reckon that a lot of other ones are also like this, but that is that is impressive to me. And now daily transaction count. Here's Dankun probably, and then like a little bit of slowness from when they probably got bogged down a little bit and then kind of did some fixes and we're right back up. We're at a new all-time high now for daily transactions. Um, and then revenue. This is this is why I think the, the wallet victory is huge for Coinbase. Look at this revenue they're pulling just from the wallet. Um, or excuse me, just from base here. And the wallet has its own revenue too that they can pull from. So this is this is really impressive. And I wish I could get this, uh, blow this up bigger for you guys, but I can't. This is a small picture for some reason. Um, it's all from Token Terminal if you want to try and pull it up on your own Twitter. And then check can't do that for this one. Check this out. So this is base overlaid with, uh, we got Arbitrum in the green, we got uh, Era, excuse me, ZK Sync uh, Era, their, their main net in pink. We've got base here in yellow. We've got OP Optimism in blue here. And then we've got Stark Dent and um, Manta and Blast in kind of purple, light blue. And then Blast here is in the orange, very small. It's probably hard to see on the screen. And that, in fact, I think my camera's blocking it, isn't it? Turn that off. So you can see uh, blast down here. But anyway, this is um, base. And you can see, we, we kind of looked at this chart over here, right? You can you can see what it did. Just shot up like this right here. Um, but look at that. It's number one. It's the top. Nobody's beating it right now. Now that's pretty cool. So base, base just hit a new high of being, looks like to me, the number one by daily transactions L2 out there. Not by TVL, nothing like that, but um, impressive nonetheless. People are, are getting on base and like I've, I've been kind of screaming this, maybe not screaming it, but talking about it, base memes, base um, finance, all that kind of stuff. DeFi is probably gonna start booming here. Um, so hopefully you guys got in on that last week when we were talking about it or whenever it was, um, made some money on it. 
Uh, I still think they're memes. I still think everything is going to be booming here. Uh, Aerodrome, we've got all the decks as I listed this morning. Uh, base swap, swap to base, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, Aerodrome is one of those two. Uh, and then all their silly memes, base god, Toshi, whatever else there is. Base show, or uh, base sheave and all that, base doge. Um, let's check check out TVL real quick. Just I had it up here, so I want to look. So TVL, we had a pretty good rise here. We hit uh, 104, I think it was. Not charted here, but I think we did hit 104 million. Now we're back at 97.7, so not too bad. Came down to a low of what is that? 93. So we're recovering pretty decently here. And this is just all basically total value locked in the uh, everything but Bitcoin, essentially everything that's measured on DeFi Llama anyway. So airdrops. And then we'll go back to the charts just to kind of browse the charts for fun. Um, check it out. So DYM is getting all of these airdrops. Pretty nuts, right? Uh, you can also get Signal and Nebula for, I think, um, Osmos and Atom and a couple others. Uh, I'd have to pull it up real quick. But check all these out if you guys have X. Just look at them. Um, actually, we, we can go back. I'll, I'll look at a couple here. But this is pretty crazy for DYM. This all came within like a week, maybe a little over a week, but but really, 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 really quickly. These all came out. So pretty cool there. Um, let's see what you needed. Oh, yeah, Ellis is coming out too. And this is from airdrops underscore one on Twitter. Let's see. Uh, for Nebula, you're going to be, yep, it's just DYM it looks like. And then for, uh, where are we here? No, I can't find it. Signal. So Signal is the bigger one here. You can uh, be eligible if you st if you're staking Akash, Adam, Bostrom, aka the boot token, Dimension, Heart, Injective, Juno, Omniflix, Osmosis, Persistence, XR XPRT token, Secret or sor Source. That's a lot of uh, <laughs> staking. Uh, it looks like 30% too. That's a pretty good drop. Usually it's like five percent. Like Athena is only five percent, so you kind of become the liquidity for all these early investors. But this is a pretty big drop, so um, I like that. I like that quite a bit. Um, there's a bunch coming out for uh, Cosmos as well. Uh, uh, partial set security is it's not quite being voted on yet, but it's it's essentially being sent to the stage to be voted. There's a signaling proposition right now, so. We'll see if partial set security goes, and then if it does, we're going to see a bunch of chains go live on Cosmos using it, and they're probably going to be airdropping a lot of tokens to Atom stakers. So if you guys have Atom, pay attention. Now, this one was interesting. I want to cover it real quick. Um, Prism, if you guys, if you, if you hadn't noticed, I like Cosmos ecosystem, IBC. Um, if you guys are staking on Prism validators, you can apparently, Atom, uh, Celestia, Dimension, Injective, and Osmosis, you... Uh, aren't eligible or excuse me you are eligible um can't read you can get this prism drop i'm not sure what it's about or or what it's for but check it out let me know i'm not eligible it turns out so i have no idea um we'll see i don't think i staked with them at all they're probably just fine but let me know i'll look into it too so let's look at this real quick i want to see just for fun here couple minutes we'll look at a couple things here uh, I want to see the top gainers of the week or of the day Let's see how memes are doing kind of had a sideways day today um, and I saw whip up there Jupiter let's see what I want to check out why Jupiter was doing so well too let me just um, adjust a couple things here okay we're gonna open up a Jupiter chart here and then I want to look at whiff as well uh, and then we'll do top 100 to all. Okay. Oh, there's a new ADA token. <laughs> MFers token. Holy crap. Yeah, memes moved. Whoa. Okay. Swifties. Oh, boy. Swifties, really? Cats in the dog world. Cat in a dog's world. I've seen that one around. Um, yeah, all right. I had a feeling memes might be moving. SPF in jail. That <laughs> didn't do so well, did it? Or was that one? Oof. Ugh. Be careful when you guys jump into these new memes. You can make money, but you can lose quite a bit. That's a pretty good jump for Jupiter. So 23% on the week. 
I guess Jupiter did have some. Uh, I wonder if it was. No, it's not that. I'll look into Jupiter. I'm sure I cover that one tomorrow. I got I got a long day of travel tomorrow, but I'll look into it. Um, they did have. I think their DAO had been doing some stuff, so maybe there was uh, something coming out of that or some of their launch pads. Um, with did they get? Aren't they trying to? Uh, they're trying to get their logo somewhere. Anyway, Whiff's been Whiff's been that's pretty good actually. Yeah, that's a impressive chart to be honest. Hmm. Then we had Ada here. Yeah, Ada's pretty damn new. Be careful with these ones. So anyway. See if there's any standouts here to talk about before we get out of here. Because, like I said, it's Friday. There's not a whole lot going on. Litecoin. Check out Litecoin. I already looked at Whiff. Optimism. Yeah. We'll just check those out real quick. Uh, I'm not sure what the gate token is. I've seen it pop up a few times. Immutable's moving. That's good. Gaming. Um, and then I, I can only. I don't know why these guys are moving these uh, Bitcoin forks here, but uh, BCH and BSV, but hey, whatever. So Solana had some news too, just so you guys don't get scared out of it. Um, FTX sold a bunch of, ooh, that's moving pretty good right now. Sold a bunch of Solana, but it's four year vested Solana. It's, it's not, they, those guys can't sell it anytime soon. It was like 76 million or billion or something. It was a lot of Solana, so. Pretty strong chart too right there. I wonder what's bumping Solana right now. Did Bitcoin just start moving? Oh, it did a little bit. Hmm. All right, what's going on with Litecoin? Anybody know? I'd like to know. Hmm. That's a pretty good move earlier today. That's a really good move earlier today. It's done that a couple times. Did it just have its having or something? I don't really follow Litecoin. I used to back in the day. A little bit last cycle, I guess, but not really. Uh, wasn't that interesting to me. Um, $130 Litecoin in April. That's. Oh, what's their all time high at? Oh, yeah, they're way, they're way below. Way below. Um, what is this website? Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, whatever. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, mm, this isn't going to tell me much, probably. It's just moving to move, I guess. Uh, I'm not a big Litecoin fan. If you guys are, that's fine, though. There's, there's nothing inherently wrong with it, just not something that interests me. It is easy, really easy to get. It's on almost all the... I think you even buy this on PayPal or whatever it was, so... Yeah. All right. Well, but you know what? Let's do something I don't usually do, especially on a live stream. Um, let's go to a live uh, news stream anyway. But it's Friday. Oh, radi wow. Radium's up a lot. So that's good. Radium's a DEX on Solana, if you guys don't know. Um, covered Poly. That's cool. PolyX earlier today. Uh, maybe I'll check out some RWA before I get out here. Mantra, that was one of them too. I'll show you guys these charts real quick before we before we part ways. Um, Harmony still, I can't believe Harmony's around still. So Poly here, Poly X, Poly Mesh is a their layer one um, for uh, RWAs for real world assets. And I think they're on their test net right now. If I remember right, they're they're not quite to main net, but they're test net. But look at their, they've got their token out already. Look at their token here, just shooting up. And this is really about the time when, as you guys, I was talking about compression on scales earlier. That's what you're looking at here. When we zoom in a little bit, it's not so crazy, right? We're gonna zoom into like right here, or uh, excuse me, right in here. So uh, still impressive right still huge gains right here this is this is kind of when onda started pumping too in the last couple of weeks um and then wow that is a good pump right now 
this is a smaller one than on notes ranked 167 on coin market cap their their market cap is 508 mil um 628 fully diluted though uh do they have they don't have analytics on this do they so sometimes they have analytics here and you can actually see um, i'll see if i can find one maybe ondo has one um actually is, uh, ondo might not be top 100 right now let's look Things change a lot in crypto. Oh, it is. It's 86. I actually bumped up quite a bit. So, okay. So, Ondo's got analytics. I'll show you their chart real quick before, we, before I pull that up. So, pretty good chart here, right? This is their whole time. They've been around uh, since January, only a couple months. Um, but, yeah, right there, 18th of March, they started shooting up. Of course, they had a really good rise prior. But let's go to their analytics real quick. So, Ondo's, um, I mentioned them earlier. They're the ones who put $95 million in a block, BlackRock's build fund. And they're big on USD treasuries, or US, USD treasuries, US treasuries and money markets. Uh, they have the coin that we can buy, USDY. Um, their other ones you have to be like regulatory approved or something like that to do it. Um, maybe their analytics aren't showing. Oh, there we go. So you can see actually uh, whale holdings here on a lot of these cryptos. So whales are pretty big in Ondo, right? Uh, I don't know how long that's they have to vest for if they can just sell that or what that's about um, that that info is not in here but that is that is a very large amount of whales in ondo doesn't mean it won't pump doesn't mean you can't make money but that's kind of a cool feature on some of these coins on coin market cap so anyway let's go to mantra real quick so that was another one i, I talked about and look at that look at that chart that's crazy two thousand percent that is wild so mantra um i believe you can get their airdrop if you stake Adam. I'm not sure it's a now if they've dropped yet for Adam. Um, but anyway, their token's doing fantastic. They, they, they might have already dropped. I can't remember. Um, look at that, though. Pretty good. 204% in a month. That's pretty fantastic. I would love that kind of a return. Uh, probably a little safer than a meme coin, too. Maybe, maybe not. It's crypto, right? But still, they're, they're basically the same thing as uh, we're talking about earlier. They're a layer one blockchain. Um, all about you can actually see the website here but all about um, regulatory regulatory compliance uh, so pretty cool uh, if you're into RWA stuff and it's not all just treasuries either right it could be um, gold it could be houses it could be art whatever but the big ones right now seem to be financially based so pretty cool stuff there um, you know what? I will do one last thing just keep this there's no end of stuff I want to do. Let's look at some uh, altcoins that are down. It might be good buys. Sui's probably decent buy, of course. Just see if anything stands out. Um, Phantom's actually cooling off. Man, the top 100 is actually just kind of, they're not stable coins, but they're not doing a whole lot right now. KuCoin, I, I'd be careful with KuCoin. BitTensor, probably a good buy. Let's look at their chart. Ooh, Kosh is down. They've been hot. Man, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins, and two of those are, we'll throw those out. There are only six coins that are down on seven days in the top 100. Whoa, <laughs> that's nuts. Um, let's do let's do the top 100 to 200 here real quick. Um, I'll do the same thing. Anybody down today? Gosh, what a boring day for, for people who are down to dimensions down a little bit, but they're they're up on the week. Um, Dimension just kind of went through a, a nice little tear, probably because of those airdrops. Um, sounds like more are expected for Dimension 2. I'm just not seeing a ton of great buys right now. Um, like absolute standout buys. There's a lot of coins I could buy right now that are still be would be great. Um, I'll look at Injective too. Injective might be all right. This is pretty, they've been cooling off. Um, they're not that old. Yeah, that, that's not bad. BitTensor is probably getting ready to pump again. Depends on what Bitcoin does, right? All these coins kind of mimic what Bitcoin's doing, um, at least on the, the downside or the upside. If Bitcoin dumps, they dump. If Bitcoin runs, they tend to run. So maybe BitTensor. And if you guys don't know, BitTensor is kind of an AI play. Um, I think they've got a marketplace. They do a lot of things here. I think they. 
I don't even want to. I don't want to say something. I was gonna say something. I'll pr I'm probably wrong. I have to look more into BitTensor, but but they are uh, heavily involved in AI, um, and they are a cool project. I think you have to get them on in the U.S. Uh, Rocket Swap or whatever it is. I think is the best way to get this because it's not on any decks. Yeah, I don't see it in any decks, and you can actually stake it though too. Um, Akash here. Not bad. Hit a peak. It's been cooling off. Zoom into that. Yeah, so maybe Kosh is a good buy too. Um, of course, that's up for you guys to decide. All this is uh, would be financial advice if I told you what to do, and I'm not going to do that, of course. So, huh? Not too bad. I like Akash. They're they're kind of in the AI space too. Uh, cloud computing, GPU computing. Um, very active in the community. Go to a lot of events. Uh, they've been around through two. Uh, we'll call it one. Well, we call it two. Two bull markets. They started in a bull market. They launched their token in a bull market or a, a bear market, um, and then they survived another bear market. So two bear markets, um, and now they've they're coming up on two bull markets too. But it, it's really the bear markets. If you can survive through these bear markets, and still put out a product and still reach your all-time high nearly, you're doing well. So that's that's something that stands out to me when I do see those in in uh, cryptos. Let's look at Bitcoin real quick and then we'll end it here. So we're, we're starting to move up still. Um, we've still got a ways to go before we hit this, but uh, I mean, what's that? Let's see what the percentage is right now to that. It's still about two and a half. So 4% on the high end. We'll take out most of that as well. So cool. All right. Well, I'm going to end it there, guys. Um, appreciate you guys coming out and spending Friday night with me. Kind of bored here. So give me something to do. Um, I'll probably be streaming tomorrow night as well. And if you guys did enjoy this, hit the thumbs up, subscribe for more of it. I, I try to stream every day. Uh, and if you guys have any suggestions on or uh, uh, requests on cryptos you want to look at, let me know because uh, I do make kind of more topic-centric videos too. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow night and have a good weekend.